A decade after the original was introduced, the Prius name has become synonymous with the term hybrid. Now, since then, a lot of other automakers that were skeptics at the time have jumped on the bandwagon and introduced their own hybrid models. In total, 16 other automakers have jumped on that hybrid bandwagon. But still, to this date, the Prius outsells all other hybrids combined. That being said, it's hard to believe it took Toyota so long to come out with this the Prius V. This is essentially a more family-friendly version of the Prius. It's the second car to come in this family of Prius models that in total will have four different versions. Now the V stands for versatility. The trade-off to all that extra versatility comes at the expense of fuel economy. Now uh, the car still has a pretty decent drag coefficient of 0.29 which is actually excellent but it does weigh about 230 pounds more and generally is larger and there's just you know more air to hit on the front of the vehicle. But despite all that fuel economy is actually still very good better than pretty much anything else on the road and it's actually two miles per gallon better than what Toyota said it would be when they first debuted the car. Uh, in total you're still looking at 44 miles per gallon in the city. Uh, you've got 40 miles per gallon on the highway and that combined comes to 42 miles per gallon which is an excellent number uh, considering this really is a vehicle that a family can live with. The engine itself is actually the same one you'd find in a regular Prius. Uh, it's a 1.8 liter gasoline engine uh, and that's mated to uh, Toyota's hybrid synergy drive system. In total it makes 134 horsepower which is you know nothing tremendous but you know it's a Prius you're not buying this for sports car characteristics. There are a couple small changes that have been made. One is to the transmission settings. Uh, it actually gives it a little bit better off the line acceleration which uh, doesn't mean it's faster than a regular Prius. It just helps to lug that extra weight around a little bit better. And the other change that they've made is to the exhaust gas recirculation system. Uh, and that really just helps the car to heat up, come to proper operating temperatures a little bit early in the cycle. If you live in colder climates, you'll know that when you're starting it up on a cold winter morning, you really get poor fuel economy then. So the sooner you can get to the ideal operating temperature, the better. So what's it like to drive? Well, it's a lot like a regular Prius. Uh, there's no point in talking about driving dynamics here because that's really not what Prius owners are interested in. Uh, it is, however, calm, it's a quiet cabin, uh, and it's a reasonably nice driving vehicle, so we have no complaints there. One unique addition to the Prius V is what Toyota is calling pitch and bounce control. And people, if you live in uh, Southern California or LA, where you have those uh, you know great big slab concrete highways, and you really feel the car just sort of start to undulate and go bouncing up and down. And this will actually work to eliminate that. It will actually sort of alter the car's driving characteristics just a little bit. You won't even know it's happening and just help to remove that by uh, controlling the power going to the wheels. And like any Prius, it comes with the same four drive modes. Uh, you get sort of a standard drive mode that the car is normally in, and you've got your three buttons right here on the sort of center console uh, for the EV mode, which gives you about one mile of electric range. Uh, you've also got an eco mode, which is probably the biggest advantage, makes the throttle a lot less sensitive and lets you get the maximum fuel economy. And then there's a power setting, which you can use if you want a little extra grunt. Although really, if you put your foot to the floor, it'll do the same thing anyway, in uh, no matter what setting you're in. With the Prius V, Toyota is hoping to keep hold of uh, current Prius customers who are looking for a larger vehicle, as well as attract a lot of new customers from the popular compact crossover segment. Now, with versatility comes size, and they've had to grow the Prius in order to do that and gain some pretty reasonable interior uh, and cargo room. So what we're looking at in total, the car has gained six inches in length overall. Uh, there's three more inches between the wheels, which is great for uh, rear seat legroom. Uh, it's also one inch wider and three inches taller than the outgoing model. As a result of all those changes, cargo room is up considerably from the sort of traditional Prius liftback. Uh, we're looking at just over 34 cubic feet of cargo room, and that actually expands to a total of 40 cubic feet thanks to rear seats that can be moved forward. That's actually more cargo room than the traditional Prius gives in total. And if you want, you can drop those rear seats and you get up to 67 cubic feet of cargo space. Those numbers are actually comparable and actually a little bit better than some pretty large SUVs or crossovers like the Chevy Equinox, for example. There's a lot that's familiar about the interior of the Prius V. Uh, you've got the trademark uh, joystick right here on the dash. You've also got familiar controls on the steering wheel. Uh, they were called touch 
tracer controls with the regular Prius. Uh, they don't quite do the same thing and you don't get the little display up on the top, but they are just sort of have the, you know, sort of iPod feel that they were designed to do. The display screen here on the center stack is a big improvement over the standard Prius and that's really just because Toyota's added color to it. Before it was all this sort of monotone pea soup green, it just looked like a 1980s computer monitor. But if you ask anyone from Toyota, they'll tell you the most important addition to this car is the new Entune system and you can see it here on the dash. Uh, you've got a lot of great features here, iHeartRadio, MovieTickets.com and it's all available through an app that you download for your smartphone and then you just sync it up and you've got access to this. You can uh, use the, the Bing search engine to you know hunt for the kind of things you'd look for on a you know a navigation system anyway. There are also a lot of other built-in features here. If you, you just hit the apps button, uh, you get access to uh, XM fuel prices so you can actually see what the you know the nearest or the cheapest gas is close to you and right now the nearest to, and this is the cheapest at three dollars and ninety cents. Good thing we're driving a Prius. The Prius started life as a car for a new type of enthusiast eco-enthusiasts. Now, the third generation of that vehicle has really sort of expanded and Toyota really focused on targeting a mainstream audience with it. The Prius V takes that to the next level, piggybacking off the success of the current generation car, adding on some new features, some great new technology, as well as the important V-word, versatility.